a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Cryptocurrency A cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange that uses cryptography to secure its transactions, to control the creation of additional units, and to verify the transfer of assets. Cryptocurrencies are a type of digital currencies, alternative currencies and virtual currencies. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized control as opposed to centralized electronic money and central banking systems. The decentralized control of each cryptocurrency works through a blockchain, which is a public transaction database, functioning as a distributed ledger. Bitcoin, created in 2009, was the first decentralized cryptocurrency. Since then, numerous other cryptocurrencies have been created. These are frequently called altcoins, as a blend of alternative coin. Overview Decentralized cryptocurrency is produced by the entire cryptocurrency system collectively, at a rate which is defined when the system is created, and which is publicly known. In centralized banking and economic systems such as the Federal Reserve System, corporate boards, or governments control the supply of currency by printing units of fiat money or demanding additions to digital banking ledgers. In case of decentralized cryptocurrency, companies or governments cannot produce new units, and have not so far provided backing for other firms, banks or corporate entities which hold asset value measured in it. The underlying technical system upon which decentralized cryptocurrencies are based was created by the group or individual known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Over a thousand cryptocurrency specifications exist. Most are similar to, and derive from the first fully implemented decentralized cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Within cryptocurrency systems the safety, integrity, and balance of ledgers is maintained by a community of mutually distrustful parties referred to as miners, members of the general public using their computers to help validate and timestamp transactions, adding them to the ledger in accordance with a particular timestamping scheme. Miners have a financial incentive to maintain the security of a cryptocurrency ledger. Most cryptocurrencies are designed to gradually decrease production of currency placing an ultimate cap on the total amount of currency that will ever be in circulation, to mimicking precious metals. Compared with ordinary currencies held by financial institutions or kept as cash on hand, cryptocurrencies can be more difficult for seizure by law enforcement. This difficulty is derived from leveraging cryptographic technologies. Blockchain The validity of each cryptocurrency's coins is provided by a blockchain, a blockchain is a continuously growing list of records, called blocks, which are linked and secured using cryptography. Each block typically contains a hash pointer as a link to a previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. By design, blockchains are inherently resistant to modification of the data. It is an open, distributed ledger that can record transactions between two parties efficiently and in a verifiable and permanent way. For use as a distributed ledger, a blockchain is typically managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network collectively adhering to a protocol. For validating new blocks, once recorded, the data in any given block cannot be altered retroactively without the alt duration of all subsequent blocks, which requires collusion of the network majority. Blockchains are secure by design and are an example of a distributed computing system with high Byzantine fault tolerance. Decentralized consensus has therefore been achieved with a blockchain. It solves the double spending problem without the need of a trusted authority or central server. The block time is the average time it takes for the network to generate one extra block in the blockchain. Some blockchains create a new block as frequently as every five seconds. By the time of block completion, the included data becomes verifiable. This is practically when the money transaction takes place. So a shorter block time means faster transactions. Timestamping Cryptocurrencies use various timestamping schemes to avoid the need for a trusted third party to timestamp transactions added to the blockchain ledger. Proof of Work Schemes The first timestamping scheme invented was the Proof of Work Scheme. 
The most widely used proof-of-work schemes are based on SHA-256 and script. The latter now dominates over the world of cryptocurrencies, with at least 480 confirmed implementations. Some other hashing algorithms that are used for proof-of-work include CryptoNight, Blake, SHA-3, and X11. Proof-of-stake and combined schemes Some cryptocurrencies use a combined proof-of-work slash proof-of-stake scheme. The proof-of-stake is a method of securing a cryptocurrency network, and achieving distributed consensus through requesting users to show ownership of a certain amount of currency. It is different from proof-of-work systems that run difficult hashing algorithms to validate electronic transactions. The scheme is largely dependent on the coin, and there is currently no standard form of it. Mining In cryptocurrency networks, Mining is a validation of transactions. For this effort, successful miners obtain new cryptocurrency as a reward. The reward decreases transaction fees by creating a complementary incentive to contribute to the processing power of the network. The rate of generating hashes, which validate any transaction, has been increased by the use of specialized machines such as FPGAs and ASICs running complex hashing algorithms like SHA-256 and Script. This arms race for cheaper yet efficient machines has been on since the day the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was introduced in 2009. However, with more people venturing into the world of virtual currency, generating hashes for this validation has become far more complex over the years, with miners having to invest large sums of money on employing multiple high-performance ASICs. Thus the value of the currency obtained for finding a hash often does not justify the amount of money spent on setting up the machines, the cooling facilities to overcome the enormous amount of heat they produce, and the electricity required to run them. Some miners pool resources, sharing their processing power over a network to split the reward equally, according to the amount of work they contributed, to the probability of finding a block, a share is awarded to members of the mining pool who present a valid partial proof of work. One company is operating data centers for mining operations at Canadian oil and gas field sites, due to low gas prices. Given the economic and environmental concerns associated with mining, various minerless cryptocurrencies are undergoing active development. Unlike conventional blockchains, some directed acyclic graph cryptocurrencies utilize a pay-it-forward system whereby each account performs minimally heavy computations on two previous transactions to verify. Others utilize a block lattice structure whereby each individual account has its own blockchain, with each account controlling its own transactions. No traditional proof-of-work mining is required, allowing for free, instantaneous transactions. Wallets A cryptocurrency wallet stores the public and private keys, or addresses, which can be used to receive or spend the cryptocurrency. With the private key, it is possible to write in the public ledger, effectively spending the associated cryptocurrency. With the public key, it is possible for others to send currency to the wallet. Anonymity Cryptocurrency is pseudonymous rather than anonymous in that the cryptocurrency within a wallet is not tied to people, but rather to one or more specific keys. Thereby, Cryptocurrency owners are not identifiable, but all transactions are publicly available in the blockchain. Still, cryptocurrency exchanges are often required by law to collect the personal information of their users. Additions such as ZeroCoin have been suggested, which would allow for true anonymity. In recent years, anonymizing technologies like zero-knowledge proofs and ring signatures have been employed in the cryptocurrencies Zcash and Monero, respectively. Economics Cryptocurrencies are used primarily outside existing banking and governmental institutions and are exchanged over the Internet. While these alternative, decentralized modes of exchange are in the early stages of development, they have the unique potential to challenge existing systems of currency and payments. Total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is bigger than 600 billion USD, and record high daily volume is larger than 500 billion USD. Indices in order to follow the development of the market of cryptocurrencies, indices keep track of notable cryptocurrencies and their cumulative market value. Crypto Index Crix 
The cryptocurrency index CRIX is a conceptual measurement jointly developed by statisticians at Humboldt University of Berlin, Singapore Management University and the enterprise coin Gecko and was launched in 2016. The index represents cryptocurrency market characteristics dating back until July 31, 2014. Its algorithm takes into account that the cryptocurrency market is frequently changing, with the continuous creation of new cryptocurrencies and infrequent trading of some of the existing ones. Therefore, the number of index members is adjusted quarterly according to their relevance on the cryptocurrency market as a whole. It is the first dynamic index reflecting changes on the cryptocurrency market. Crix Cryptocurrencies Index the cryptocurrency index CRUX is a conceptual benchmark developed by financial professionals to create an index methodology adapted to the cryptocurrency market. The reallocation of the constituents is revised on a daily basis in order to better react to the dynamic market changes. This reallocation takes in consideration the market capitalization and the liquidity of every cryptocurrency. Crux indexes provide different calculation methods in order to provide indexes adapted to different portfolio strategies. Each index is then available with a fixed number of constituents. Crux indexes are freely available to the public on the online platform of the Crux project. CCI 30 Cryptocurrencies Index the CCI 30 index is composed of the 30 cryptocurrencies with the biggest market capitalization. It was created by a team of mathematicians, quantitative analysts and traders, led by Professor Igor Rivin and Carlos Skevola, economist. The components of the index are set, at a fixed number of 30, weighted based on the square root of their smoothed market capitalization. The composition of the index is revised on a quarterly basis, using an exponentially weighted moving average of the market capitalization. The CCI 30 starts in January 2015 with a value of 100. This index is freely available to the public, and can be replicated by funds that follow a passive investment strategy. Crick's Cryptocurrency Volatility Index the Crux Cryptocurrency Volatility Index is aiming to measure the volatility of the top 50 cryptocurrencies over a three weeks rolling period. The Crux Cryptocurrency Volatility Index also integrates a weighting methodology in order to smooth the market values from the top 50 cryptocurrencies and allow a better overall impact of each cryptocurrency volatility. Crix Cryptocurrency Classification Standard the Crux cryptocurrency classification standard has been developed in order to segment the cryptocurrency market according to the fact that all the cryptocurrencies don't have the same purpose. The cryptocurrency classification standards split the market into six different segments, peer-to-peer -peer digital payment, blockchain for applications, financial services, information technology, social and medias and others. Transaction fees Transaction fees for cryptocurrency depend mainly on the supply of network capacity at the time, versus the demand from the currency holder for a faster transaction. The currency holder can choose a specific transaction fee, while network entities process transactions in order of highest offered fee to lowest. Cryptocurrency exchanges can simplify the process for currency holders by offering priority alternatives and thereby determine which fee will likely cause the transaction to be processed in the requested time. For Ether, transaction fees differ by computational complexity, bandwidth use and storage needs, while Bitcoin transactions compete equally with each other. In December 2017, the median transaction fee for Ether corresponded to $0.33, cents, while for Bitcoin it corresponded to $23. Legality The legal status of cryptocurrencies varies substantially from country to country and is still undefined or changing in many of them, while some countries have explicitly allowed their use and trade, others have banned or restricted it. Likewise, various government agencies, departments, and courts have classified bitcoins differently. China Central Bank banned the handling of bitcoins by financial institutions in China during an extremely fast adoption period in early 2014. In Russia, though cryptocurrencies are legal, it is illegal to actually purchase goods with any currency other than the Russian ruble. U.S. Tax Status 
On March 25, 2014, the United States Internal Revenue Service ruled that Bitcoin will be treated as property for tax purposes. This means Bitcoin will be subject to capital gains tax. In a paper published by researchers from Oxford and Warwick, it was shown that Bitcoin has some characteristics more like the precious metals market than traditional currencies, hence in agreement with the IRS decision even if based on different reasons. In response to the IRS ruling, numerous organizations have been created to advocate for consumers. One of the most prominent examples is the Washington DC-based Cryptocurrency Alliance, an independent expenditure-only committee created to raise awareness about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Legal issues not dealing with governments have also arisen for cryptocurrencies. Coinye, for example, is an altcoin that used rapper Kanye West as its logo without permission. Upon hearing of the release of Coinye, originally called Coinye West, attorneys for Kanye West sent a cease and desist letter to the email operator of Coinye. David P. McHenry Jr. The letter stated that Coinye was willful trademark infringement, unfair competition, cyber piracy, and dilution and instructed Coinye to stop using the likeness and name of Kanye West. 17th of January 2014 Coinye was closed. A primary example of this new challenge for law enforcement comes from the Silk Road case, where Albright's Bitcoin stash was held separately and encrypted. The legal concern of an unregulated global economy. As the popularity of and demand for online currencies has increased since the inception of Bitcoin in 2009, so have concerns that such an unregulated person-to-person -person global economy that cryptocurrencies offer may become a threat to society. Concerns about that altcoins may become tools for anonymous web criminals. Cryptocurrency networks display a marked lack of regulation that attracts many users who seek decentralized exchange and use of currency. However the very same lack of regulations has been critiqued as potentially enabling criminals who seek to evade taxes and launder money. Transactions that occur through the use and exchange of these altcoins are independent from formal banking systems, and therefore can make tax evasion simpler for individuals. Since charting taxable income is based upon what a recipient reports to the revenue service, it becomes extremely difficult to account for transactions made using existing cryptocurrencies. A mode of exchange that is complex and impossible to track. Systems of anonymity that most cryptocurrencies offer can also serve as a simpler means to launder money. Rather than laundering money through an intricate net of financial actors and offshore bank accounts, laundering money through altcoins can be achieved through anonymous transactions. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?